Hey lovelies, or welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to talk briefly about Melody Cherie addressing the bitter comments. So if you guys have not been following social media, a lot of people have been coming for Melody Cherie lately and have been saying that she is very bitter and messy. And so she's addressing all of those negative comments um, in her live video that she did. I am going to play the audio for you guys so you guys can listen. Now, shout out to Money Making Melody fan page for this because that's where I got this from. But before that, I want to tell you a little bit about it and let's talk about it. So she was talking about the fact that if people think they're messy for watching the show, she is messy. I'm all right, girl. And at the end of the day, she's getting paid and you are paying to watch, but she is getting paid and that's on period. She is here to work and she is working. Okay. I do agree with Melody on what she said about having boundaries. I think sometimes because people have terrible boundaries, they feel like when you have boundaries, you are a bitter person. And I know this because people have tried to ask me if I'm bitter or about stuff like that because I have boundaries. I always think having boundaries does not mean that you're bitter. It's important to have boundaries. And it's funny, I literally woke up and I saw the video and I thought, nah, I really want to, I want you guys to listen to it because I think it's so, it's also an educational piece, right? You are allowed to have boundaries with people. You don't have to tolerate nonsense from people. You are allowed to push back and let people know how to treat you. It's not, you don't have to lay down and take it. Someone can do something to you once. It is up to you to make sure it doesn't happen again. If that is not something that you want and have firm boundaries when it comes to that person. So when people try to paint her to be bitter and messy, I'm just like, let's not act like she should allow these people to continue to take the piss out on her. She doesn't have to take it. She can stand up. Just because you don't stand up for yourself does not mean that other people can't and shouldn't. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys to watch the video now, but don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the chat. One thing I want to say is boundaries does not equal bitter. Um, boundaries does not equal bitter. And people are okay when you sit back, let me say this. We are so, as people, society, um, we have made it to where we expect and want people who are being mishandled. Kim, girl, why you want to say, mm, yeah, Kimberly, uh, no, was, oh no, that's because you know I'm telling the truth, yes, I'm telling the truth, we want people who are being mishandled, who are being mistreated, um, to shut your mouth and take that, and you just take it and you shut your mouth, don't you dare stand up for yourself, don't you dare have a response. Don't you dare have a clap back. And don't you dare put no boundaries in place, even when you have been mistreated. Now, it's giving slave mentality to, to me. I'm just going to tell you the truth. So I don't know if there are generational things that need to be broken pertaining to that. But what I can say is, <clears throat> what I can say, is we have to do better with being okay with people responding to stuff and responding to treatment and with people um, putting boundaries in place. That don't mean you bitter because you put up boundaries. Um, maybe I could say you crazy for letting people play in your face and walk all over you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, you know what I'm saying, Kim? Now, if I start saying you a fool and you crazy for letting people play in your face and walk all over you, then I'm wrong. 
But when y'all see people who put up boundaries, especially when you have like literally steps by step witnessed the treatments from different folk. And then when you got you get mad whenever I respond or when I don't care no more and it's like, you know what, whatever, right? Or um, I don't allow people in my space or I don't communicate with people. Oh, she bitter. No, sweetie, I'm stronger than you. That's what I am. I'm stronger than you. Because see, I'm not the one. <laughs> about to sit around and play duck duck damn goose okay duck duck goose <laughs> i'm not playing duck duck goose with none of y'all okay um i will be quiet for a lot of times you know i'll be quiet for a little while a lot of times and then eventually uh-uh so i don't know i just think that it's a bigger conversation to be had um, a bigger conversation on why I think about even sometimes women, women who are suffering from physical abuse in their marriages or relationships, um, sexual abuse, all kinds of things. And when they speak out, like I remember seeing movies because I was a lifetime girl, like for real, like when I hit my like middle high school, oh, I love me some lifetime. Right. And I just remember you will see movies where if someone spoke out how people would try to convince them that that it didn't happen to them or it wasn't real or it's not this or you know he loves you though and even though he's beating you every day you know what I'm saying stuff like that and now I'm like 38 and I'm looking at it and I'm like people really be on that for real in real life <laughs> in real life they don't want you to speak up they don't want you to stand up they don't want you to do nothing. They want you to shut your mouth, like Master said. I'm sorry, but I'll be quiet for a little bit and give you a chance to turn from your wicked ways, but baby, then I'm coming all out, okay? I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm not the one. I'm not going to do it. So, excuse me um, for being a little stronger than maybe some of you. And I'm not even talking about y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. A little stronger than you. Um, but bitter? No. If I can be honest, I really don't even be thinking about folks. I don't have time to. I be feeling like how some other folks be having time to because between my four babies and all these activities and stuff they doing, Malia done made a gift to program, tanking sixth grade, Mariah in middle school, now sugar mama done started pre-K. I got all these business ventures. I got 800 students that still got my number who still get to text me about property preservation. I ain't, and then I also love to travel and enjoy my life. I ain't got time to be sitting around thinking, plotting, talking about nobody else. The most you gonna see me talking about somebody is in front of a camera. And that's because that's what I show up to do and what y'all messy tells click it every Saturday night to see. So for the people who also like to be like, man, I'm messy. No, you're messier because you've subscribed to a whole goddamn network to watch a messy show. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> so I'm um, paying a whole bill <laughs> to watch a messy show then. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're paying, I'm getting paid. There's a difference. But anywho, so all I'm saying is to the people who be trying to play <laughs> y'all cut it out cut it out just enjoy life just live enjoy life do your thing baby and um yeah yeah i'm just saying yeah just do your thing and enjoy enjoy what you're watching and keep it moving take that for what it is and keep it moving okay okay so that's my little messy moment i guess <laughs> for the day <laughs> It's not a little messy moment, and I'm about to go because I got stuff to do. I got stuff. To, it's Friday, baby. I got stuff to do. Okay. Um, but I love y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming over today. Um